everyone welcome back to my channel I'm Jessica and today I am finally doing my nails for you I have polished three of my nails on each hand and I have two on each hand that just have some base coat on it this is nope that's not it this is the one I have the Jessica nails recovery base coat for brittle nails mine are really dry and they've been cracking lately which is why they're a little bit shorter today and you'll notice, yes, I do have some staining on my nails, but that's because I keep them polished all the time. It's natural, it's normal, and it doesn't hurt anything. So let's do this. I am going to do two videos in one because I've had people ask me how I do glitter on my nails, and I've had people ask me how I do eyeshadow on my nails. So I'm going to do both. I'm going to do glitter on my ring finger and I am going to do eyeshadow on my middle finger on both of my hands. This is the glitter that I am going to be working with. I thought it matched fairly well and this is from one of the ColourPop quints that I have and I think I have it in my BYOP project pan which I did bring it in just to work on my nails. So that is the one that I'm going to put on my ring fingers. And then I am going to be doing my Rose Will Go On palette. Try not to blind you with this mirror. This is the shade right here that I'm going to use on my middle nails. I figure that's close. It's not exact, but it is metallic. The shade that I have on my nails is actually a Franken, which you guys will see more of when I do my project polish update. But this is the shade right here and I have it on everything. I will be putting a coat of polish, just one coat on each of these nails, and then we will get into how I do my eyeshadow and my glitter. All right, I am just going to put my little lip balm, lip mask thing here because I find it easier when I'm polishing my nails to have um, some space to do that and have it raised up from the table. It's just Especially when I'm doing my non-dominant hand, I feel like this is just a little bit easier workaround for me. I have those two nails done. They are still wet. I'm going to go ahead and do these other two nails and then we'll get into putting the glitter and the eyeshadow on. Okay, I literally just finished polishing these. They are still very, very tacky. So I am going to bring my little cloth over here so that I can wipe off my finger when I'm done. Bring over my glitter because that is what I am going to be putting on this nail. This is, like I said, it is still tacky. I'm going to go ahead and go into my glitter, really coat my finger well with it. Get a little bit more on there. I have got a lot of glitter on there and I want to just place it on that tacky polish. It's okay if you go a little bit over onto your finger. We can clean that up later. Get a little bit more if you haven't covered everything. And just tap that on. Make sure you get into the edges. And then you're just gonna let that go ahead and dry. So let's do this other one while we have the glitter out. So that is just the first coat on the glitter nails. Let's do these while they are still tacky. This is done the exact same way that I do the glitter. I keep the polish ever so slightly tacky. I get the eyeshadow onto my finger. I coat it very well and just tap it on while it is still tacky. All 
All right, so I've got the first coats on these. I generally like to do two coats. So what I do in between, I let it dry for a few minutes and then I will come in with a very thin top coat or even a base coat would work because you want something clear but not too thick. So I'm gonna go over it with a top coat. It is going to seal in what we already have and it's also gonna give us another tacky base to do our next layer. Okay, now that I have those top coated, I'm gonna go in and do the glitter again. Once you are satisfied with your glitter or your eyeshadow, if you feel like you've got the opacity that you like, the color that you like, and you get the little dog hair off of there, then after you have let this dry for a couple minutes, then you wanna do another coat of your top coat. Again, you wanna do it on the thinner side, something that's gonna glide over and not pull up your glitters, pull up your eyeshadows and um, seal it that way. All right, there it is. I am going to let this dry for a few minutes and then I am going to use a regular quick dry top coat. My favorite is INM Out The Door. That is what I'm going to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this off camera. And then after I have this dry, I am going to just go wash my hands and all of the glitter and the eyeshadow that's around on my cuticle areas is going to just wash right off. I will be right back. And this is how they turned out. I think they look pretty good. They aren't perfect, but you know, I did this very quick on camera. This is not um, something that I normally do. I take my time and I'm a little bit more cautious with it, but I do think they did turn out okay. And one thing that I would recommend that you do after doing your nails, no matter what you're doing, whether it's glitter or just basic nail polish or eyeshadow is, Use a cuticle oil, take care of your cuticles because especially going into winter, you do not want to have dry, peeling, cracking cuticles. That would not be fun. So just get a cuticle oil and make sure you put that on. You can rub it in and make your cuticles very, very happy. Because let me tell you, splitting cuticles are not cute and they don't feel good. You don't want to get that infected so take care of your nails yes I am a nail tech and I do promote taking very good care of your nails if at all possible I'm just using the Jessica nails I used a lot of Jessica nail stuff today but that's not the only thing I use this is the phenomenal oil and I usually just try to rub that in let it sit and do its thing and I will say I only put um, the initial top coat over the glitters and then the quick dry top coat it does have a little bit of texture to it if you are sensitive to that and I am a bit sensitive to it you can always put another coat of top coat on that and that should really reduce that texture quite a bit but I feel like they turned out pretty darn good and I am very happy with it 
course, you know, this will only last me a few days because I'm very rough with my hands. So who knows what I will be doing with my nails next. Sorry, just trying to get all of this oil rubbed in. It is very good for your skin and your cuticles. Trust me, get some good cuticle oil and your hands will love you for it. All right, that is everything for this little tutorial, if you will. And I hope everyone that has been asking for it likes the way that I did mine. And that is everything. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.